Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? What's up, gems? It's your girl, Chucky, and I'm back with another. Let's get into it. Now, by the title, I already know why you're here. First, I just want to say, if you are an OG, welcome back i appreciate every single one of you if you're new here this year it's gonna be a ride so make sure that you like comment and subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss this year's videos like i have so much planned i just i don't even know like that's why we're here recording this video so First thing I want to say is Happy New Year, guys. It is 2023. Last year, 2022, it went by so fast. It was a shit show. I ain't even going to cap with you guys. From December of 2021 to December of 2022. And I am so grateful for you guys that have been rocking with me for the last year okay like i i became a new me <laughs> i know it's like new year new me but no it wasn't no new year new me it was it was bullshit happened and it caused me to really just isolate open my eyes get so in touch with myself and what it is that I want out of life and what I want and what I want to do and being me authentically being me whatever you see me as I got to truly be my authentic self again yes I say again it I hid her for a really, 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 really long time trying to fit into a space that was not for me. Like, I'm, I'ma be real. Um, I tried to fit in a space where I wasn't wanted and I tried to conform to what other people wanted me to be or what I thought they wanted me to be or what made other people comfortable. And I don't mean that in just my relationship aspect i mean in everything in my life when i say i've cut i've cut off family i've cut off friends i've cut everything off to solely focus on chucky sherry and whoever you know me as i cut everything out to solely focus on that person or them them not saying that those are my pronouns but obviously as you guys like to point out all the time in gemini's we have multiple personalities um that is very true but not in the aspect of what everybody thinks we are everybody thinks we're fake we're two-faced it no it's just really that we have multiple personalities i don't mean as a multiple personality disorder i don't mean like that i just mean like when you're dealing with us we have to be certain people around certain people if that makes sense and i just got tired of doing that i got tired of draining and putting on a show for people um like I was in a circus. Like I have to only be this one person around this group of friends or be just this one person around this group of family members. And it's just like, I can't be all of me with everybody. And that was so draining. And after I decided to leave my relationship, um, I had a chance to really just isolate and focus on what I was 
indeed doing wrong or not really just doing wrong but how my actions was affecting other people who i was as a person because that's not who i am that was fed up and <laughs> um so with the new year i just want to say that i am in a whole new space like i am just focusing on my peace my happiness and what makes me happy and what that looks like going forward. While we're talking, I am going to be moisturizing my hair because y'all I can't go into the new year with my hair looking like this. That's enough. It is currently December 31st. Tomorrow is the new year and I am grateful for everything that I have learned going into this new year and everything that I am going to learn into this new year. So, yeah. This was not planned. This video was not planned. So if I feel like, if you feel like I'm all over the place, I am, mentally, I am. Mentally, I am in a better space, but I'm not in a better space. There is just something really big going on in my life and I am trying to prepare myself for that tower moment, <laughs> whenever that may be. So yeah, while we're talking, let's just get my hair together we are going to be using the Mario moisture strength and length curl caster in neem oil curl oil gel y'all already know my hair butter y'all already know my hair oil so let's just get into this video I was gonna need that. I know you guys are probably wondering like, what's next? What are, you, what, are, what are you doing? What's going on? What are you doing with your life? Right now with me moving into this new house and Kai's birthday is over, I'm solely focused on getting my house in order. Um, right now, the only rooms that are fun furnished are the bedrooms and my beauty room and that's because we already had the furniture um i couldn't afford to put furniture into the home when we first moved in and so my plan is to use my income tax to furnish my home with what i want with what i like and not hand-me-downs like everything has always been hand-me-downs and and i worked really really hard to you know get this new place and have something for kai and i that we can call home and i just want my home to feel like a home i want to get pictures up on the walls i want to get awards up on the walls like you know diplomas up on the walls like i want artwork i want my living room to look like a home I, you know i i i just don't want us even though kai plays his game all the time i just don't want us to be living in our bedrooms all the time and right now that's what we have been doing for the last six months now my next goal you know is to just continue to create content I, I created a, in November, I created a very small goal for myself, and that was to complete Vlogmas, do a full Vlogmas this year. Every year I do Vlogmas, but I never make it all the way through and get a video uploaded for the full 25 days, 25 or 31 days. I like to do the full month of December and every year I never get it completed. And this year I completed my goal. I I told y'all I isolated myself and I got to work and did what needed to be done. And I am so proud of myself. Like if nobody else is proud of me, if nobody else understands 
me isolating myself if no one understands the depth of the 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 depression and the things that I went through last year or even just care you know um I care I'm proud of myself I understand because I went through a lot last year and it was just too much for me to be available for other people and I just I just couldn't no matter who it was family friends you know like I couldn't be available to people because I couldn't even be available to myself I have to be present for myself and my son and that was all I was focusing on and to be honest I wasn't even present for myself I neglected myself <laughs> I neglected myself a lot you know I neglected my home and my my motherly I won't say motherly duties but just you know cleaning my home keeping my room clean cooking all the time like things I enjoy I neglected and so I just want to be better and I just don't want to take that mindset into 2023 and i'm not using this as like i said i'm not using this as a new year new me type of thing because i was already in a new me type of feel last year or this year because it's still 2022 so with all that being said like i just want to be the best version of me not only for me but for my son as well um i'm not gonna say i've neglected my my motherly duties because i to be honest i'm only present for him if it wasn't for him i wouldn't know where i would be what i would doing or if i would even care about you know making sure that my home is a home or making sure that we are we are surviving because we're not living we're surviving honestly you know and so i just want to be in a space to where i can be happy and at peace for my son and being a better better mother for him you know i have to take care of myself as well as take care of him and if i'm not myself I can't be myself and a mother to him. I just want so much more out of myself than what I have been in the last year. This is just solely about me and what it is that I need to be at peace. So there are a lot of things that I want to get back into that I have not been doing i have not been doing makeup i haven't been taking care of my hair i haven't been doing my self-care days it's this last year has really put me in a very t difficult space physically mentally and emotionally and financially that i am still dealing with the consequences of everything that has happened within the last year and so i'm just solely focused on getting myself out of that hole i'm tired of digging grandpa well that's just too damn bad so it's just i am solely focused on getting myself back to where i need to be I'm not going to say where I used to be because even then I wasn't where I wanted to be or where I needed to be. I just want to get my sp myself in a space to where I can evolve, where I can level up and where I could just do more than what I was doing. Because I was allowing myself to be so shortcoming for myself that I allowed those shortcomings from the people I had around me and the things that I allowed in my life and what works for me. And so it's kind of a what now, 
you know I'm just making small goals for myself and I am completing those small goals and I am knocking them off and I am just trying to be better than what I was the last 12 months come in What's up? Hey, hey handsome. What you watching? I'm not watching anything. I'm filming. Yeah, I'm just filming. I'm almost done. I'm on our last bit. Okay. And then I'm going to start cooking dinner. My hair soaked up this. This is dry already. My hair soaked that up. It needed it. So, with this new season, honestly, within this last year, I felt like nobody really understood the severity of the space that I was in for me. I felt like nobody cared. I felt like nobody really cared gave a fuck and honestly it's not anyone's job to to care like everybody is living their own lives and everybody had something going on everybody was going through something i completely understand that and so like all i'm asking for going into this this new season and in just the 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 me that i have accepted within the last 12 months is that everyone give me grace and understanding of the space that I am in, of the choices I am choosing to make and the things that I am doing with my life and for my life and the things that I no longer want to accept, the things that I no longer want to do, the things that I no longer want to put up with. I, with. I just feel like... I am allowed that and I feel like I just really need some grace and understanding and if you personally feel like you cannot give me that, that is okay. And that's just where I, I am with everything and that's, <laughs> that's where I'm going to leave this video if you can't give us grace and understanding in this season after the 12 months that him and I have had then you really just don't care about my well-being and my mental health and right now my mental health is most important I hope all of you are having a great start to the new year happy 2023 to all of you and until the next time I will see you guys in the next ones Bye, Jims.